lesson. I will share you the screen. So because we have two students, uh, new students, we're going to review first about the scientific process. Okay. For those bottom three last year, I know you, you know this one already. Okay, welcome to Science Bottom 4 MEP. So we have the objectives of the lesson. The first thing is identify the different scientific process. Next, we have differentiate the animals from one another. And then we also have value the importance of animals in daily living, okay? So I want Dragon to read, okay? I want you to read the objectives of the lesson. Wait, I'm looking for Dragon first. So Dragon can unmute the microphone. Okay, Jitim wants to. Okay, Jitim wants to read also. Okay, I will put it back. So the first one, okay, Dragon, can you read the, the objectives of the lesson today? In the black, black color. Yeah, identify. Identify the different scientific process. Okay, number two, differentiate. Different, differentiate the animal from one other. And then the last one is of animal in daily living. Okay, very good. So the first thing we need to focus first in scientific process. And then after we discuss the scientific process, we're going to differentiate the animals from one another. And then we're also going to study about the importance of animals in daily living. Okay. So if teacher and speak so fast, you can type in the chat box. So I will speak slowly for you. And then I, if you don't understand, you type it again, and then I will repeat the explanation for you, okay? Now let's move. So the topic for today is about the scientific process and classification of animals. So the first thing is when we do the experiment or when we start studying science, we need to do the following first, right? We need to observe gather information and then we can experiment right like when we do last year in your Pratum tree science class we do lots of activities and observation about different things so the first thing is okay next slide the scientific process okay the scientific process, we have three parts. Scientific method, science process skills, and the scientific mind. Okay, Jitaim, can you read it for teacher Anne? The scientific method, mm -hmm. the science process skill, yes, the scientific mind. Okay, so these are the things that we studied last time in your bottom three, right? Yes or no? Who can remember the first day of the class? Okay, so nobody remember. I will explain it to you thoroughly. Okay. The first thing is the scientific process. It is the method or steps to search for knowledge. Now, when we want to know lots of things, we need to gather information, right? If we want to learn about different things, we need to look for the information, either it's in internet or in book. 
Okay. Next, we have the scientific method. Okay. Uh, plus, uh, plus one, number five, four, plus six. Can you read it? It is the way of scientists to find answer to what they are serious about. They also use it to search for knowledge or fact and to solve problem. Yes, this is the scientific method. It's a way of the scientists not to find the solution of everything. Like when at the moment we have the COVID pandemic, right? So the scientists search for the vaccine. They search and they are curious to know which vaccine is very good and can inject to our body. So they need to search for knowledge and put it together so they can solve the problem. Yes or no? Thumbs up, Dragon, if you understand. And blow on. So remember, scientific method is the way of the scientists. Nah? They need to do it step by step, the process to find a solution or answers to the problem. Next, we have the science process skills. The science process is skills. So we have number one, measuring. Number two, using numbers. Number three, formulating hypotheses. Number four, experimenting. Number five, we have identifying and controlling variables. Number six, defining operationally. And number seven, we have interpreting data and making conclusions. When you want to know many things about science or about the things around us, we need to follow certain rules. And these are the followings, the science process skills. Like when we do experiment, we need to measure, right? We need to measure the ingredients or the things that we want to experiment. Also, number two, we need to count how many things that we need to use. Um, are you listening to the channel? Um? Did you understand, my boon? Okay, my boon needs to read the following. Okay, my boon and a, and meet your microphone, both of you, please. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Measuring. Measuring. Using number. Using number. For numbering. Formulating. Formulating hypothesis. Okay, very good. Hypothesis. Number four. Experimenting. Experimenting. Number five. I think identifying and, and controlling variables. Variable. Number six. Variable. Defining, 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 operationally, defining, correctionally. Seven, interpreting, interpreting, interpreting data, 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 and, and making, making conclusions. 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 Conclusion. Okay, when we gather one, two, Number one, measuring and using number. When we gather the things that we want to use in the experimenting, number four, we need to find out when we identifying and controlling variables, okay? We need to find out the solution or the result of the experiment, right? So when we find out the result of the experiment, now we're going to make a conclusion, okay? Are the scientific mind scientific mind the scientists must have these traits okay rapa can you read every words in the train reasonable reasonable mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. honest mm -hmm. yes okay. Very careful. Yeah. Determine. Uh, determine. Mind. Open mind. Determ determine. Mm -hmm. Open need. Mind. Uh, open mind. Open Generous. mind. Curious. 
discipline, open-minded, generous, curious, curious. discipline, patient. Okay. These are the following traits of scientists, okay? Now, every scientist must be honest, right? And they are very careful when they do the experiment. They are very open-minded and they are very curious of, about everything around them. So we have this. Uh, we have the scientific mind. Now let's move to the topic for today. Which are classification of animals. Uh, classification of animals. So can you name different animals that you can see during the school break? Let's start with Jitame. What animals do you see in your home? Dog, can... cat, what animals mouse can... yeah. and bird. Okay, mouse and bird. How about you? Let's see, Pailin. Where's Pailin? What, did you see Pailin? I can't see Pailin. Wait now. Let's see. I can't see Pailin in the... Okay, how about let's move to Pan Pan. Pan Pan. Can you name different animals that you see in your home? Pan pan and bird. Bird, okay. Next we have Aideen. Aideen. Can you name one animal you see in your home? Aideen. Can you speak to teacher Anne? I can't hear Aideen. Okay, let's move on because Aideen. How about... Titan. Titan. Can you name one animal that you can see in your home? Titan, unmute your microphone. Hello. No. Okay, very good. How about Tanadi? Tanadi, name one animal you can see in your home. Cat. Cat, okay. Next, okay, na. Kula. Teacher King, ka? Okay, na. Now let's move to another slide. Okay, now I want you to name different animals you can see in front of you. Let's start with Chino. Chino, can you name one animal? What? Can you name one animal in the picture? In the picture. Chino, are you still there? I don't know. Wait, Can you name one animal that you see in the picture? Okay, Shina is gone. Now let's move to Seta. Seta. Mm -hmm. Animal in the picture, please. Wait, wait, wait. I don't see all. Bear. Say it again. Bear. Bear. Okay, very good. How about Hannah? And which your name one picture of the animals you can see. Hannah, and with your microphone, please.
Can you can you unmute it? Okay. Butterfly. Butterfly. Very good. How about picker? Can you name one animal picker? Where is picker? Picker. Okay, picker. Can you unmute your microphone, please, speaker? Uh, is snake. Snake. Okay, very good. How about pocas? Kulisara. Can you name one picture of animals in front of you? Pocas. Can you name one animal, please? Bear. Bear, okay. Another answer for earth. Bubble. Let's see, earth. Earth number 12, four slot six. Unmute your microphone, please. Rabbit. Uh, okay, very good, rabbit. Thank you. How about, let's see, who didn't answer yet? Okay, super rec. Popia, unmute your microphone, please. Popia, are you there? <laughs> Popia, can, can you name one animal, please? Yeah. Very good, okay. Next, let's see. Babble. One animal, please. Rabbit. Rabbit. Okay, say already. So most of you, most of the animals should name already. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have different kinds of animals in the pictures. Okay. We have in the forest and we also have in the garden. So we have the deer. We have the fox, the bear. Squirrel, owl, wolf, rabbit, mole, snake. We also have wild boar, butterfly, dogs. Okay. So these are different kinds of animals that we can see in different places. Now, we're going to study about the group of animals. Okay. There are two groups of animals. The first group. We have the vertebrate animals, okay? But before that, we're going to read the following first about animals. So animals are living things, right? They have life. Yes or no, Gypsy? Thumbs up if you can hear teacher Anne, okay? So all animals are living things that can move from place to place by themselves. We don't need to help them. They can run on their own. They can fly. They can swim. They can walk. They can hop, right? That's why they can move from place to place. The second one is they hunt and eat other living things. It's either grass, fruits, and other animals, okay? But they cannot make their own food, okay? They cannot produce their own food. They need to hunt it. They are not plants, okay? They are animals. Now, let's see the next slide, please. So, as you can see, we have the vertebrate animals. So, vertebrate animals is one of the group of animals. They are animals with a spinal cord, a backbone. That's why they're called vertebrate animals because their body is supporting by the backbone, okay, or spine. Like human, we have backbone. So this is the cartilage and this is the spinal cord. As you can see, nah? I will show you. I need to draw something. This is the cartilage. Okay, can you see teacher and writing? Okay, nah? this is the cartilage. And this is the spinal cord, okay? So all vertebrate animals, they have backbone, okay? Remember, vertebrate animals, they have spinal cord that's surrounded by 
cartilage or bone. To be easy, this one, to make it easy, we can just say vertebrate animals have backbone, okay? They are animals that have backbone. Next we have is Let's move to another slide. Invertebrate animals. Let's wait first, okay? Okay, invertebrate animals, animals that are lax, a vertebral column or a backbone. They don't have bone, okay? That support their body. They're like a soft one, soft animals that we can like belong to insect, okay? And some are seashells. Okay, you know? Who wants to read the meaning about invertebrate animals? Let's see. We have future. Future, can you read it for teacher Anne? Future, unmute your microphone, please. Fish. Amphibians. Reptiles birds and mammals okay vertebrates animals have five groups in total the first one is fish amphibians reptiles birds and mammals so what teacher and wants you to do i want you to get your science notebook and write these words on the first page of the science notebook. Group of animals. Animals body are different from one another inside and out. One is vertebrates, five groups in total, okay? Fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Okay, so I will write a doodle which one you're going to write, okay? So you need to write first, group of animals. Okay, can you see it? Group of animals, number one, vertebrates, okay? Next, five groups, fish. Amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. Okay, those words that have underlined, you're going to write it, okay, in your science notebook. Okay, I'll give you five minutes to write the words, okay? On. Can you name one kind of fish that you know? Mm. Um. Name of fish. Shark. Shark. Very good. Another fish. Let's next is Pileen. Pileen. Unmute your microphone, please. Give me catfish. a name of fish. Catfish. Very good. Next we have, hmm, let's see, who students? Plume. Plume. Can you name one fish? Nemo. Nemo. What is the real name of Nemo? Plume. Nemo. What is the real name of Nemo? Nemo is a cartoon. How about the real name? Do you know? Who knows the real name? I'll give 10 points. Who knows the real name of Nemo? 
No, so. Huh? How about Oak? Oak, do you know the real name of Nemo? I don't know, teacher. Oh, okay. So Nemo is a clown fish. Okay. Remember okay. that, na? Nemo is a clown fish. Okay. Okay, now let's move to the next slide. Okay, look carefully. We have different kinds of fish. So the first fish is Do you know the first fish? Who can guess the name of the first fish? Let's see. Mm, let's see who wants to answer. Who is not listening to teacher Anne? I will call one by one, okay? Rapa! Rapa is not looking to teacher Anne, so I will call Rapa. <laughs> Rapa, what is the Sorry. name of the first fish? Dory. What Dory. is it? What Dory. is it? Dory? Okay. Very good. The first fish is Dory. Okay. Next, we have next fish. What is the name of the next fish? Next fish beside Dory, the color orange and white lines on the right side of the Dory. Who knows the answer? Oi, do you know the answer? The color orange one with two, two fishes there. Microphone. Unmute your microphone. Clownfish. Very good. That is a clownfish. Very good. Next we I have. Next we have. Uh-huh. Let's see. Jitame. What is the name of the next fish bis uh, and below Dory? Do you know that one? Golden fish. Golden fish, okay. Or it can be called goldfish. Okay. Next fish is... Who wants to answer? Okay, let's see. Dean? Dean what? Salmon. This fish in the picture in front of you. What is the name? Do you know this salmon. fish? Is this a salmon? Salmon. Is this a salmon fish? Who wants to help Dean? I don't see a picture. This one? This one is a... I don't see. Ah! Popper fish. Yes, a popper fish. Okay, now so we have dory, clownfish, goldfish, and popper fish. Okay, can you read all the name of the fish? Dragon, unmute your microphone, please. Dory, clownfish. Uh -huh. Clownfish. Clownfish. Goldfish. Puffer, puffer fish. Very good. Next, a eh? dolly, clownfish, goldfish, puffer fish. Okay, very good. And they are webbed like, as you can see in, you can see here, the frog. They have like the web fit. Okay. And then their skins are slimy with no scales, okay? They belong to cold-blooded animals. Their movement, when young, they can swim, right? Because they live in the water. Yes or no? Bibi? Bibi? 
Can you hear teacher Ann? Yes or no? Oh, Bibi, can you read the movement? Movement of amphibians. Young, we can sum of hum. When young, we can we call some of them tadpoles, right? So when they are tadpoles, they don't have legs yet, okay? They have tails. So they swim into the water, okay? But when they are adult, they have their legs, okay? Understand, Bibi? Okay, next. How about the more? Can you read the more? Breathing. Breathing. Can you read breathing when young? The last one. When young. Last one. Breathing when young, they breathe. Uh -huh. They breathe through gills in water. Uh, adult breathe through okay very good so since they are still baby they breathe through the gills and then when they become adult they breathe through their lungs okay so let's move to another slide about amphibians okay so as you can see, we have different kinds of amphibians here, okay? So I want you to name different amphibians that you can see in front of you. Who knows the different names of pictures in front of you? Let's see, Kao Fang. Okay, wait, 11 students raise their hands. Okay, let's see, bubbles first, bubble. Unmute your microphone, bubble. The first picture, bubble. Unmute your microphone, okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Frog. Frog, very good. So we have frog. Very good. Next picture. Let's see. Kao Hom. Kao Hom, are you there? Bai Boon. Next picture. Name one only. Dai Ma. Dat Dat Ham. Le. Okay. Baby, name one picture. Baby, can you name one picture? Can you name it? Baby, only one. No, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, who wants to help Baby? Plume. Plum, can you name one? I don't know. I don't know also. Oh my god. Okay, Kau Fang. Thank you, Kau Fang. Can you name one? No. No also. Oh, I think this one is very difficult, right? So I will name it for you, okay? The second picture we have, a kind of frog that is quite bigger and called as a Todd, okay? Todd, nah? quite bigger frog, okay? Next we have the black and yellow spot animals. We have salamander, okay? Salamander. And this one, the white one, with feet and looks like a fish, it is called 
walking fish or axolotl. Okay, na? Walking fish or axolotl. Okay, dragon said, what is salamander? Salamander is belongs to the family of lizard, okay? But salamander have uh, slimy skin, like it's very, very slippery skin, okay? Most of the amphibians have slimy skin, okay? Okay, now dragon. Next we have. Okay, now. Next slide. Reptiles. Reptiles. Okay, this one is very easy, I think. A. Reptiles, type of animals that has limbs, huh? come in pairs with five fingers. Except snake, huh? snake don't have legs, don't have fingers, okay? Nah, reptiles, nah, because they if they have like five fingers, it's easy for them to move faster, okay? Wait, now nah, I need to clear first all my drawings, okay? Nah. So the pictures of the reptiles, they have thick skins, but dry scales, okay? Dry, hard scales. Uh, covering their bodies, okay? They belong to cold-blooded animals. They also lay eggs. So when they are young, we call them like a tadpoles also because some of them can become very small. Huh? And then... Hmm. Leng, I need your microphone. Okay. The first one, Kim Leng. Turtle. Okay, turtle. The second one? Snake. The third one? Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon. And the last one is? Okay. Crocodile. Crocodile. Okay, very good. Next, Aydin, please. Aydin. Unmute your microphone. Aydin, you there? No? So Aydin cannot unmute the microphone. Okay, next. Um, Pumet. Unmute your microphone, please. Bon, don't draw Bon. I'm looking at you, Bon. Ah, uh, Pumet. Turtle. Okay. Uh -huh. Komodo dragon. Uh -huh. And? Crocodile. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to move to the next slide. Okay, this is the parts of the crocodile. Nostril, fangs, snout, legs, eye, and head, okay? They have the spiky skin or body skin, okay? So next, what are we going to do? We're going to answer your worksheets, okay? Can you get your worksheet, please? Are you ready to answer your worksheets? Okay, we have this one. Vertebrate animals and invertebrate animals. Okay, are you ready to answer? The first one, we have panda. Panda. Where can we write panda? Who? Vertebrates or invertebrate? Who? Panda. Vertebrate. Okay, very good. We have vertebrate. 
Okay, can you write it already on your watches now? Number one is panda. Okay, next, number two. We have lion. Where can I put lion? Uh, let's see. Pailin, where can I put lion? Vertebrates or invertebrates? Vertebrates, animals. Okay, next. Okay, you need to write on your worksheets now. Huh? We have elephant. Then we also have, let's see, what other animals is belong to vertebrates? Okay. Can you name one animal belong to vertebrates? Eagle. Eagle. Okay, very good. Eagle. Eagle is not in sea. Okay. Next. Another one, eh? Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Where can I put grasshopper? Vertebrates or invertebrate? Invertebrate. Okay, very good. Invertebrates. Grasshopper. Okay, next, baboon. Hey, Boon, can you name? Name one invertebrates animal. Don't know the answer? Look in your worksheets. It's in your worksheets. Are you writing your worksheets, everyone? Okay, we have earthworm. Earthworm. Cat. Okay, cat belongs to? Vertebrate. Next, we have starfish. Starfish belongs to? Invertebrates. Did you write already? Mungkon, write in your worksheets. Hello. In the worksheets. Next, we have butterfly. Third one, we have leech. Okay. Crab. Scorpion. Yeah. No finish. Oh, Bibi, did you write already? Okay, the last one, we still have we have dog and whale. 